Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're gonna do something that's a little bit different and a lot of fun. We're gonna do a little bamboo forest and maybe like a tiny waterfall somewhere in there. And of course, if you're enjoying these, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future painting videos. Let's get started. We'll start off today with our two inch brush in a very, very pale blue. And oh, right up in here somewhere, let's throw in just a little bit of this color. Not too much. Really don't want a whole lot today because it's gonna be kind of backlit and pretty bright. And we just don't need a whole lot of blue. So there we go. Just maybe it didn't even show, but in person it shows just a little. So when you're, when you're painting this, make sure you throw just a nice soft, pale, pale blue background in. Very pretty. Next with our filbert brush, a little bit of yellow and white, maybe just a touch of green, but not much. Let's come somewhere right here toward the center and drop in very loosely just a little bit of this color up here. This is gonna be like leaves and things. And of course I did a quick little sketch, which always seems to help so much, you know? Just helps to create wonderful, wonderful little detail. And that way you can just follow along with your sketch and you know, it just works out easier. There. Maybe as we come down here, we start to see a couple darker leaves. These are like the little backlit leaves and maybe the light's sort of filtering through the middle here somewhere, maybe in this area. It's just, we'll play around with it and see how it goes. All right. Let's spend a couple minutes doing this. Next, I'll take a little bit of green and white on the three quarter brush. And let's start making some little Little tiny indications of maybe some bamboo back here. Now you can kind of go from the top and pull down or from the bottom and pull up. It's just whatever's easier for you. I don't paint much bamboo, so I'm practicing right now. I'm trying to figure out the fastest and most effective way to do it. It's probably about the same though. Now, obviously, to create depth in this, it's just like a normal forest the things in the distance are, are lighter. And so that's what we're gonna do. That's why I've got this color is almost the same as the leaves. However, the leaves are just a little lighter. There we go, <laughs> fun. These are extremely tall. So even the background ones, take them right off the painting. There. And don't get them too big, not yet. There, it's not like a tree trunk. So you wanna be careful about that. Don't get it out of proportion. Next, with a slightly darker color, we'll just throw in several more of these little bamboo stalks up here. This is just a little bit of green, brown, touch of black, and it just makes a, a nice little color. It works pretty well for this. Good. So we're simply working forward here. Now, you may wanna make all these, these little stalks stop at the same point, but try not to do that. Instead, make them stop at different point. Let's bring that one down here, and maybe that one down here, and leave that one up there, and see how you can do that and create a little extra interest to the painting, and we'll make that look more like ground back there. Right now, it just looks like empty space. But this is the way that you create some better interest. Do not make everything stop at the same spot. And of course, some should be overlapping each other like this, and have fun. There, oh yeah. Tangled mess of bamboo over here. I don't think you could even cut through this stuff. You couldn't walk through it. You need to get your chainsaw out, I guess. Cool, I love that feeling. That's kind of the, that's kind of the look I was going for. All right, maybe something over here too. And these guys, let's make them a little thicker. Not much thicker, just a little. And let's let these guys go. We're gonna end up having to cover it up, but that's fine. I just want to show you, they're going to end way down here. Well, maybe right about there. And they'll be kind of on the rock face some way. We'll figure all of that out later. Just trying to get the overall effect that I'm going for here. Now I'm going to begin dropping in some rocks down here. And as you can see, just this little bit of dark creates an amazing amount of contrast in here. See that? Fade these two together. You know, you don't want to see exactly where the two come come together. You wanna to see a softer transition there for the most part. Of course, you could have a couple of rocks sticking out. That's fine, but 
just not everywhere. There's a lot of vegetation here, so it's going to be covering up the edge of the rock. There. Okay. Now I know I want to have a waterfall down here, but for now I'm going to just kind of paint around it as, as good as I can. If I get a little bit in there, that's okay, because when I go to do the waterfall, well, let me just do it right now. I'm going to do a very, very, very light underpainting like this. See how scratchy that is? This is dry, so it's not going to be blended at all. But see how that just gives me a nicer, a little bit less paint. See, over here I'm not as worried, but over here I'm going to be covering this a lot. So just sort of map in your waterfall that way. There. Oh, let's do a drop off right here. This would be cool. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A beautiful little drop off and maybe that way it sort of matches the way the waterfall drops off there. Now with our pointed detail brush and just some pure white, and a touch of yellow into it. <laughs> See, here it is right here on the palette. This really just looks white, but it's very, very bright. Don't get any dark color in here. We're just going to drop on carefully some detail. Now you can do this with a liner brush, but this little detail round seems to be working out pretty well for me today. You could even do this with a filbert or whatever. You just each brush will give you a different effect. So have fun playing with it. There. These detail brushes are not quite out yet, but they're close. And as soon as they are, I'll let you guys know. Make sure you're on my email list. So you get an update when they become available to everybody. There. I know you guys are going to love them. They're cool really are going to add a lot to your little painting toolbox because it lets you tighten up and do some little things we couldn't do so easily with the other brushes. Nice. Next I'll load up our detail brush with a little bit of yellow and white and right up here on these rocks I want to drop on a little extra highlight. Now before I did the waterfall with you I threw in some highlight here to the rocks just so I could get an idea of exactly where that waterfall needs to be and how it needs to be shaped and all that. So now that I have that in there, we will simply go ahead and refine all these angles just with a little more color. I did like a mid-tone and that was good. That's all I needed at the time. Now, now we can work on some beautiful light out here. And maybe I want to make this rock a little bigger. But look, allow that mid-tone to show through. You can do the rocks with the three-quarter or the little detail. <laughs> this one was just in my hand, so I ended up using it. That's fine. There. And just simply pick out these little areas where you think little bits of light would hit. And I don't want a whole lot. Broken and rough areas is really, really nice. So try to get a lot of those in. Now with our filbert brush, I'm just going to tap in a few little, little ferns or things down here. And I'm really not too concerned about the little stalks of bamboo because we can cover, we can paint right back over them again. So if you cover them with the little ferns or grass or moss, whatever this is, it's just not going to be a big deal. There. Now the more you tap, the softer this will get. So try to work quickly, bouncing from one area to another. See that? Don't let your brush stop. There. You can build up multiple colors. Maybe you want a little bit of a golden one, that's fine. That's kind of that's kind of nice to have some variation in there. Watch this, and you can lay just a little more light out on it. Kind of backlit, so don't go overboard with the light. Just kind of hit that light right on the top. There. Maybe you got a little bit out. Oh, maybe this one right over here too. Let's do a whole bunch of these while we're going. Now with our little detail round, I'm going to just throw in some little lines and things here to indicate the water's moving. A little bit of a highlight on the water. There, it doesn't take a whole lot. Make sure you make sure you reload the brush all the time to keep that paint nice and fresh and, and bright. It's a little bit of blue and white is all I'm using today for this. It's not really a big deal. It's mostly white, not so much blue. There. We can even blend this with a well, with the blender brush or one inch brush or something like that when we're done here just to make it a little more smooth. We might do that. We'll see. Nice. Actually here, let me just take a fan. Let's try it with a fan brush real quick. I'm just going to sweep over this. Oh yeah. I'll wipe off the brush continually so you don't muddy up your color. 
Now we're going to drop on just a little bit of highlight to these taller bamboo right up here. There, see that? Now this is backlit, so the other side's going to catch a little bit of light, but one side is going to be stronger. So that's the way, that's the way you create a little bit of depth in it, even though it, it has a highlight on both sides. Make the, we'll make the left side a little stronger for this particular one, because I think the light's kind of filtering through the top and the middle. Cool. Now one detail is really fun to add and makes a big difference here. Just these little rings that, the, that each piece of bamboo has. There. They are not all symmetrical. They're not all exactly the same. So you can be a little bit loose with this. There should be little chips and things in the, in the bark of the bamboo. There. Well, maybe it's not really bark, whatever it is. Kind of the smooth outside of the, of the bamboo. It tends to have little chips that have brown in them. So you can get away with a lot of neat little details. Next, let's tap in some grass and just little things growing here at the, at the foreground. There we go. I'm not going to spend a long time on this, only a little bit. And you want to shape this land so that it, it kind of looks like maybe this little pond or something is down. Maybe it's a few feet down, if that makes sense. We're kind of up on a little bit of a little bit of a rock face looking down, but not lo not a lot, just a, just enough to give it a little bit of an interest. There. Now with our little detail brush here, I'm going to quickly just drop on a couple of bamboo leaves. Now these, these seem to have very slender little branches with these nice, long, skinny leaves. So that's what we're going to be working on. There. And what's really cool here is this brush is actually pointed very similarly to a leaf. Like the shape is similar to a leaf when you just touch down and pull off. So that certainly makes that easy. Don't overdo this. Just here and there. I don't want to see a whole lot of leaves. There's enough in the background. It just gives us a little indication. Keep them really, really tall up at the top of the painting. Don't come down too far. All right. Well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.